twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like the diamond in the sky hello and welcome to my channel once again i appreciate you wherever you are connecting from if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you're notified each time i upload a video i thank you wherever you are connecting from those who are supporting me from across the globe if you are joining from africa asia europe america i appreciate you so much thank you very much for your contributions on the comment section i do appreciate today once again i bring you information on things that are happening in nigeria as I always say, I talk about the things that happens in Nigeria among the celebrities, important personalities in Nigeria, and more especially other important events. And today, I'm going to talk to, I'm talking to you about the issue of uh, T.B. Joshua. We woke up and heard about the death of T.B. Joshua, thinking that it was just a mere rumor. Eventually, it becomes true that T.B. Joshua is late. After his death, a lot of people have been coming out from all angles to make some unnecessary assertions, some are making some accusations, some are talking down on him instead of mourning the dead. My video today is to educate some people who are talking down on the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua. I am presenting this video for you to see some reasons why you have to stop condemning TV, TV Joshua. Some of us are doubting if he is a child of God or if he is a a real prophet or a bad prophet none of us can reach that conclusion we don't have to judge it's left for god to say if he is or he is not but we can only look through his actions things that he did when he was on earth and the testimony that people has for him those are what can be considered do not look at people who are even a pastor who has nothing to offer who has not even impacted any life Neither are they helping the poor, yet they stand up to condemn the man of God who have been in the forefront of helping the poor, in the forefront of hearing the cry of the masses. Watch this video carefully from the beginning to the end. You might find a reason to know that T.B. Joshua is a child of God. On Let's Sunday, worry. June 6th, um, we heard that Prophet T.B. Joshua has passed on. What do you think of this great man of God? Oh, so sad. Uh, sadness means with joy. Sadness in the sense that we will not see him again. Joy, in another sense, is going to be with the Lord. Because he's been a great man of God. Hmm? Known all over the world. Solving people's problems. Healing the sick. Delivering the oppressed. And making Nigeria proud. I know of a country, as you come down from the airport, you see his portrait there. Because he saved the life of the prime minister of that country. When the prime minister was about to die, he had a terminal disease. And they recommended him to T.B. Joshua. And he flew down to Nigeria. And he was healed. And that prime minister said, T.B. Joshua will be honored in this country forever. So, we miss a great man of God. You know, but what, what, what will we do? There are many God generals in the past who died at young age, who died sick also. But that doesn't mean they were not men of God. The way God wants it, that's the way it went. It's so sad. But glory be to God that is going to be with the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think he will be remembered the most for? Hey, we will miss him a lot. Because... He is just the greatest miracle worker we have in our time. And now I'm looking at the shoe. The shoe is too big for anybody to wear. Too big. I can't see anybody wearing it. Honestly. You cannot be, there's no another you. You must be your you. Nobody can do it exactly the way you do it. That's how I think we remember him for. We also remember him that he is a man that have given so many prophecies that came to pass about Nigeria, about some personality, about other countries, African countries, European countries, and all over the world. We will remember him for that. A man who also, we remember him also as a man that almost all 
almost all the church leaders criticize him because they cannot do what he is doing. They don't have the power to do what he is doing. They kept on criticizing him. And even as they criticize him, he continued to grow and grow the more. I remember many years ago, Idaosa, Archbishop Benson Idaosa, of blessed memory, said something about TV Joshua. They went to complain to him. TV Joshua, we don't know who led him to Christ. We don't know how he came to limelight. Eh? We are suspecting this man. He said, leave him. Leave him. If he is not of God, he will not survive seven years. But if he is of God, he will survive seven years. And if he survives seven years, then know that this man is of God. How many years ago now? Do you understand? I hope you know Archbishop Benson in the house. Yes. Ah, of blessed memory. That's what he said. Yes. I was there when he was making that statement in Benin. You understand? I'm a witness to it. So, in fact, we will remember that man for his great exploits. Huh? And we'll miss him. When TB died, many people asked me, sons, fathers, call me, what have you got to say about this man? Did he go to heaven? Oh, he doesn't, he didn't go to heaven. I said, you have had a hard question that I can answer in a simple way. He went to heaven. Somebody look at me. He said, are you sure, Papa? I said, yes. I said, this man is Christianity in practical. I know I am not his promoter. I don't even like him. That is the truth. I don't even like him. But what is good is good. Are you following what I'm saying here? But most of his haters have not done quarter. Of what he did. You could see when he carries the rice. You will see his heart in the rice. When he shake you. You will see it in him. The first time. He ever called me was. What year was that mama? Five years before we come to this. He said I'm looking for a coordinator in northern state. Can you? And I said I will pray about it. Then I call him and I say. He called back and said. I decline. I said, I don't know, but my spirit doesn't agree with you for now. So I'm sorry. And I'm off the phone. That's all. That's the only time I ever encountered that man. Is somebody here? And that was in Joss. I'm talking about 17 years ago. And that was it. So I have no business with him. But when we see Christianity, we should see, we know. Christianity is not what you cover. You are full of holiness, but wickedness in heart. You dress, you put your shirt in the neck. Holy Adam. Very unforgiving. Very wicked. You see people on the road trekking, you will drive past. You will pour water on their heads. No, if carrying somebody will put you in trouble, drive your car. Because there are people you carry, you carry devils, you carry Jezebel. So don't. Be, be, be led, my friend. Let's balance this thing. <laughs> Let's balance this thing. What is your intention? Your heart? For me, I saw practical Christianity in that man. The only thing is, I didn't know when he became born again because I never heard him confess Jesus. But every time I see him leading people to Christ in recent times. So, if you are leading people to Christ, you should have accepted Christ also. Am I talking to somebody yes, sir. here? Yes, sir. Should have accepted Christ also. So, we, man, look at the outer appearance. But God, look at the heart. There are dangerous teachers, but they don't have 300 members. Because of arrogance in their hearts. They can preach, bring out revelations. But go to their church, no, no people. Is God that wicked? They fast more than all of you. Yet people will not come. Only a few people. Because God saw their hearts. They see a man who just loved Jesus. The crowd is everywhere because of his heart. And you are serving God every day. You can't pay rent. And that person is just loving Jesus in a simple way. He's building houses. The same church, the same message, the heart. 
to what extent will God encounter you to the extent of how right your intention is you gave but you went behind and complained you gave but somebody told you you said that man I know this is how they are you do so when intention is wrong whatever you did will not work here you want to encounter God this month let your intention be right sing not because I want to give you money sing not because you want my accolade in fact the more I don't even notice you the better for you the better for divinity to notice you because it is when men hate you that God will love you Bible said when the Lord saw that Leah was hated he opened her womb when the one that was loved by men he shot her womb and the Lord shot the womb of Rachel and opened the womb of Leah men praise Rachel but God closed her womb other people hate Leah and God opened her womb my friend this God is not man am I talking to somebody here when TB died many people asked me sons fathers call me what have you got to say about this man did he go to heaven oh he doesn't he didn't go to heaven I say you have had a ask, hard question that I can answer in a simple way. He went to heaven. Somebody look at me. He said, are you sure, Papa? I said, yes. I said, this man is Christianity in practical. I know I am not his promoter. I don't even like him. That is the truth. I don't even like him. But what is good is good. Are you following what I'm saying here? But most of his haters have not done quarter of what he did. You could see when he carries the rice, you will see his heart in the rice. When he shakes you, you will see it in him. The first time he ever called me was what year was that mama five years before we come to this he said i'm looking for a coordinator in northern state can you and i said i will pray about it then i call him i said he called back i said i declined i said i don't know but my spirit doesn't agree with you for now so i'm sorry and i off the phone that's all that's the only time i ever encountered that man is somebody here and that was in jaws i'm talking about 17 years ago and that was it. So I have no business with him. But when we see Christianity, we should see, we know. Christianity is not what you cover. You are full of holiness, but wickedness in heart. You dress, you put your shirt to the neck. Holy Adam. Very unforgiving. Very wicked. You see people on the road trekking, you will drive past. You will pour water on their heads. If not the condemnation and persecution, do you think I'll be in this level I am today? What else again? I know the value of my trials. The value is so great. Make the whole world to know me. It's a free advert. You can see there is no signpost, no signboard. You cannot see any signboard of the synagogue since the beginning of this church. You are my advert. You are my signpost. So the question people used to ask me, why not advert? Why not signboard? At least in front of the synagogue here. You're supposed to see a big board. So I will carry Bible. That will show you. I will carry my Bible like this. I say. But you cannot find it anywhere. Even in Lagos Island, everywhere. When you are coming, look round. You will not see Synagogue Church of All Nations. 
Yes. Why? Because God has blessed me with free advice. Look, it takes the spirit of foolishness to hear something without go there and confound. Every genuine human being, a leader, every leader, you may be leader now, you may be leader tomorrow. Either you are still young and God has then seen you to be leader tomorrow. Everyone that God destined to be a leader, when they hear something, it may take time, they will find a way to confirm what they hear. Yes. So in the process of confirmation, they become part of me. And I become part of them. Yeah. This ministry has been for the past 20 years, if there's anyone out there that say is elite, a man of wisdom, understanding, and still not confirm what through humanity one day, it means something is wrong. It through your confirmation now brought you here. You were not just here, it was what you heard in the past. In the process of confirming your information, you now find yourself 